Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. Latest data, latest trends, still two storm systems intact for that first week of February, 2-1 through 2-8. First storm system roughly 2-1 to 2-4, second storm system 2-5 to 2-8. And they're both going to have a little bit of atmospheric river contribution. The first one could have a moderate intensity surge, um, and then it turns into potentially a panhandle hooker type storm system for Colorado. That's still a possibility. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like this morning. And then storm number two could have a weak to moderate atmospheric river surge with it. So not quite as much, but still a pretty significant surge of moisture. And then that turns into interior snow for a lot of the Rockies. A couple of bullseyes standing out. One, the Sierra, obviously. You've got two different pushes of atmospheric river moisture, but also southern Colorado showing up like it could be a rather sizable bullseye. So we'll look at all that in the forecast. I want to take you to this, though. So this is the, uh, the latest forecast for integrated vapor transport. In other words, we're trying to look for extra moisture in the atmosphere, atmospheric river um, type components. And this is one of them, IVT. You can see the first spike on this. That comes um, late 31 into 2-1 in the Sierra. This is for that, that central to northern California coastline. So that's coming in. And the second push with that second storm system around the 4th, into the fifth. So that fits the timeline. Two different storm systems, first week of February, two different pushes of atmospheric river moisture. All right, let me take you over to um, water vapor satellite imagery this morning and just kind of show you what uh, everything looks like. So here's the, uh, the lay of the land. And we still have this moist flow being directed up into the Pacific Northwest and also BC, very high snow levels. It's just warm across the West right now with freezing levels that are just running crazy high right now. So the first storm system, you can see it. This big trough of low pressure back here, and there's another area of low pressure behind that. Both storms become part of that uh, first week of February pattern with this jet streak and this powerful subtropical jet. It grabs both, and then eventually they move into California. The first storm will break loose, move into the interior, and then potentially develop, develop into that area of low pressure in southeast Colorado or near Albuquerque or the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma and enhance the snowfall over the top of uh, parts of Colorado, although the storm not looking quite as strong today as it did yesterday. Second storm, which is right here, that will come in behind it a little further to the south, uh, 2 5 to 2 8, and make its way through the interior. All right, here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's a situation by this afternoon. All right, here we go. Here comes 31. Late 31 into 2 1, that initial atmospheric river surge with storm number one hits the Sierra. Very heavy snowfall. And then that storm breaks loose, begins to move into the interior. Here we are on 2 2 in the morning. You've got heavy snow through the Wasatch moving into Colorado, in particular western and southwest parts of Colorado. You've got heavy snow up in parts of Idaho, 2 2 in the afternoon. All right, here's the key time period. So this is 2 3 in the morning. By this point, we're seeing potentially an area of low pressure spin up. Like I said, southeast Colorado, panhandles of Texas, Oklahoma. That's why I tend to call it a panhandle hooker. It will then hook, and then that precip kind of rotates around the north and northwest sides of the storm system with sort of an easterly, northeasterly wind component piling that precip up over the top of Denver, the foothills, and the continental divide. Now, that is not set in stone. And if anything, like I was saying, the trend has been to weaken that storm just a little bit and speed it up just a little bit. But you can see that heavy belt of precip of snowfall up in Wyoming over the Tetons, the uh, uh, parts of Idaho, Big Sky, and continuing to snow over the top of the Wasatch. All right, here's 2-3 in the afternoon. There's 2-4, the storm departs. Here comes storm number two. So there's 2-5, pulls out of California after snowing very hard in the Sierra. Here's 2-6 in the morning. Begins to make its way towards uh, Utah and Colorado. Here's 2-7. Here's 2-7 uh, late. Here's 2-8. And then by the time we get into late on 2-8, storm system still snowing over parts of Colorado, but it's going to start to make its move away. And then potentially another storm system coming in from the Pacific Northwest. So we'll focus on the two storm systems. All right, let me just show you what uh, the jet stream is going to look like. So this is 2-1. Storm number one coming in on the nose of that jet streak with that moderate intensity atmospheric river surge. Storm number two, so this is 2-8. So the storm starts off the coast of California 2-5, begins to move in 2-6, 2-7, 2-8, and you can see where it is on 2-8. That trough is moving through Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, Wyoming, and then eventually it will slide away. As far as temperatures go, 
First storm system hits a very warm air mass across the west on 2-1-2-2. It gets colder each day, progressively colder. So a little colder on two, late 2-2, two, 2-3, two, two, a little colder 2-4, two, 2-5, two, 2-6. Two, um, but we're not talking about Arctic air, not even close. It's just cold enough in a lot of places. Um, colder than what, it's, what it is right now, but just cold enough. Snowfall by time period. Um, today through tomorrow, nothing across the Intermountain West. It's all West Coast, very late in the period and high up. Grand total map, 2-1 through 2-8, big time. Okay, a couple of bullseyes. Obviously the Sierra, 50 to 80 inches from Tahoe down to Mammoth. And Mammoth will probably be the big winner. Um, in Colorado, look at Southwest Colorado, bullseye over Wolf Creek, Silverton, Purgatory, Telluride, big time snow with that wind direction. Um, really just cranking out that orographic snowfall in those areas. So that, that, those are the two big changes. Otherwise, you're still looking at one to two feet for grand totals across the rest of Colorado, across the Tetons, across the Wasatch, across Bryan Head, across Snow Bowl, Arizona, across the Idaho, across parts of uh, about a foot over parts of, um, well, up to a foot in Montana. So it's still very significant. Anywhere you see purple, over purple, that's, that's a foot or more. All right, let's do it by time period. So 2 1 through 2 4, here's storm number one. Lots of accumulation, Tahoe down to Mammoth, and about a foot in Colorado, about a foot in the Tetons, about a foot in the Wasatch. Time period number two, storm number two, 2 5 through 2 8. Um, another big snow for the Sierra, another couple of feet in Colorado. That's where we could really pile up some significant additional snowfall over the southwest aspects of the state. Wolf Creek to Silverton, Telluride, Purgatory, those areas could get smashed, um, depending on the exact track, of course, of that second storm system. But that's nice to see two storms back to back with big snowfall. Love it. All right, let's go to the northeast. Last stop, 130 to 2.8 grand, grand total snowfall is very light. One to two inches, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine and the northern parts of the state particularly. That happens on 2-1 into 2-2. So guys, that's gonna do it for this morning mountain weather update. Really tried to highlight the big changes, the latest trends, and those. look at those bullseyes. It's hard to ignore. The Sierra, southwest Colorado, could be very, uh, could do very well with this, uh, with this setup. Um, but then again, there are a lot of places in the purple shades that could do a foot or more. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.